Hello, today on my masterclass we're going political and we're talking about how one by one all those who lied and undermined former President Jonathan are getting their comeuppance, all of them. Now there are a, bit, there are a few of them that is not quite, it's not yet open, uh, but people in the know like I do, we also know that, that uh, they're hiding it. You know, people like Amechi, but I'm not going to mention uh, the details, you know, it's going to come out, you in the public will be aware of it. But with, with possible, we're going to start with Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu was one of those people who lied. You know, he was one that came up with that word, clueless Jonathan, you know, said a lot of horrible things that were lies against the former president. But look at what's happening to him today. You know, he has been ridiculed. You know, his own boys, like um, uh, the former Oshin State Governor, now the Minister of Internal Affairs, Rauf Arebe Shola, Kayode Fayemi, have turned against him. You know, he is being ridiculed right now, and it's, it's, in fact, it is really a terrible situation. I feel almost sorry for him. Look at Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, the former MIA of Kanu. Sanusi, you are a liar. If you are hearing me, you are a liar. Sanusi lied that $49.8 billion was missing from the Federation account. Then he reduced it to 22 billion. Then he reduced it to 12 billion. And finally, 10.8 billion. Former President Jonathan has been out of power now for five years. What happened? It was all a bunch, a tissue of lies, a campaign of calumny to turn Nigerians against former President Jonathan using Takia. If you don't know what Takia is, go and research it, go and Google it. You're not going to hear that uh, here. The man, take me to court, I will open it. Sanusi Lamido, you are a liar. Look at what happened to him when he went and became MI of Kanu. Look at it. What is within you internally will come out. Look at him. Theft. They were accusing him of theft, mismanagement of funds. Look at that. Only. I mean, after, look, I have no fear of man whatsoever. I'm prepared to die. I've made peace with my creator. If I die, I'm making it to God's kingdom. What's with this lab? Let me, let me just calm myself. Let me not say what I want to say about that useless fellow. Now, we go on Adam Sashomole. Look at Adam Sashomole. In Adam Sashomole won an election under former President Jonathan. He came to Asso Rock to thank him for having a free and fair election, even though he was from an opposition party. As I speak to you right now, can that happen in Nigeria? Look at what happened in Oshu State. The man who won the election, Senator Adeleke, was cheated. He had the highest number of votes. Can, do we have free and fair elections now? Now they are saying that, okay, they are considering going to court because of what Buhari has done to them. Does Buhari, does he, does he honor court judgments? Does he respect court judgments? Look at Obie Zekwesili, who was you weaponized, bring back our girls, used it to damage former President Jonathan, went about, she was the first uh, um, speaker at the APC's, uh, um, their very first forum, she was the first speaker. Look at what is happening to her today. Look at what happened to that under, under Buhari. Even Nasir El Rufai's son, Belo, came out publicly to disgrace her, called her beggar with receipts. Google it. Call that publicly, openly. They have no shame. Call that publicly, beggar with receipts. Look at Omo Yole, so worry. Who celebrated? Just, I, I released the video. Go on YouTube or just go on Google. Google the day that Buhari won. He, he celebrated. He was so happy. He was almost crying in tears. Omo Yone Suwari used Sahara reporters to lie. A very manipulative human being. You want to be president of Nigeria? God forbid that you, Omo Yone Suwari, will be president of Nigeria. A liar, a common blackmailer like you, take me to court. I will expose you. No, but I, I do. You have to understand, I have no fear of men. I have absolutely no fear of men. I've seen the worst in Nigeria. You people destroyed a man who was trying to protect the lives of Nigerians from headsmen, from Boko Haram. Look at what's happening now. Yeah, all over. Hundreds of thousands of families, possibly millions in Nigeria, they've suffered at the hands of headsmen. Look at Angu Abdullahi of Northern Elders Forum. How they were insulting former President Jonathan. Jonathan never responded to them. Look at how the presidency released a statement. I think it was uh, three days ago, insulting Angu Abdullahi. Look at Rabbi Musa Kwankwasu. Can he talk today? He has been reduced in Kano. Can he talk today? Look at Rabbi Musa Kwankwasu. All these people, he was saying that they used, and I'm quoting him, that they used Al Majiri to, to finish Jonathan. Okay, now they are now getting rid of the Al Majiri because of COVID 19. And it was this Jonathan that they were insulting, abusing, using the Al Majiri to attack, to stone in Kasina and Bauchi that built schools for the Al Majiri. Jonathan. Look at them now. They are ripping what they've sold. Look at Walesu Inka. Walesu Inka, not only did he insult former President Jonathan's wife, Jane Patience Jonathan, called her a hippopotamus, he also asked Nigerians to forgive Buhari. Google it! Bloomberg, Financial Times, he went there, he asked Nigerians to forgive Buhari. 
Today, he cannot talk as Aisha Buhari has turned the presidential villa into a battlefield. They are shooting uh, guns there. And then she has now turned the place to a place for domestic um, disputes, always quarreling, very quarrelsome woman. The presidency released a statement even insulting him. That was two months ago. We see, Wale Shorika should not complain about General Buhari. He should not complain about General Buhari at all. Rather, he should accept responsibility for bringing the worst ruler in Nigeria's history to power. You have to understand, you know, this man has just disgraced himself and he's here, Nobel laureate. Look, a Nobel laureate without a noble character is nothing. I have to say that. Look at him now. Wale Shorika is not some 30-something-year-old 30 young man that did not know about Buhari's misrule in 1982-1985. He knew what this man was. He knew, he was, he saw with his own eyes how lecturers like him left the country because of Buhari's draconian policies leading to the first brain drain. Yet he campaigned for him and today he is now attacking him. Look, it is not honorable. Wale Shorika accept responsibility. You, your behavior is not anything but horrible. You are not a victim. You are an enabler. You want to eat your cake and have it, you cannot. You want to run with the hare and then hunt with the hounds. A man with such a distinguished youth should not choose to end with so sad a chapter. Look at Audu Ogwe, who was going around, you know, saying that, oh, bring back uh, the girls' members where our founders. Today, Audu Ogwe cannot even go to his own village because of herdsmen. It is not coincidental, it is spiritual. I know from my president Jonathan, he spent 10 days with me in my house in California. This, he might not be perfect, but he is the most selfless and God-fearing leader ever to govern Nigeria. He can't out a fly. Does he pay me? Why am I still loyal to him? Look at Amajiris. He built hundreds of schools for them. Look at Buhari, who shares the same ethnicity and religion with the Amajiris. What has he done for Amajiri? Jonathan built nine universities in northern Nigeria. He dredged the river Niger up to Baro. He built the Abuja Kaduna super fast 187 kilometer railway. Today, that is the saving grace of the Northwest because bandits and kidnappers can't let the northerners travel from Kaduna to Abuja in peace. Under Jonathan, Nigeria was the third fastest growing economy in the world. Today, we are the world headquarters for extreme poverty. Look, General Buhari said former President Jonathan destroyed Nigeria. Yet, under Jonathan, a 50 kilogram bag of rice was 8,000 naira. Fall was 87 naira per liter. One, naira, one dollar was equivalent to 150 naira. Lagos to Abuja Airfare was just 10,000 naira. A bottle of Coke was 60 naira. A tin of pig milk was 80 naira. In 2011, under Jonathan, Gallup polls rated Nigeria under Jonathan as the happiest place on earth. Today, Nigeria is the world headquarters for extreme poverty. Look, all those who lied and undermined Jonathan, I, my name is Venomoki, you will all reap what you sow. God bless you.